What is up everyone? I hope y'all are doing well. My name is Ishan and welcome to the video. Man, I got my got my breakfast tacos with some fries over here and my usual breakfast and man, almost every day I eat this and I'm like, you know, I eat this every day. Tomorrow I'll, I'll make something different, cook up something, something new, you know, just to just to change it up a little bit. But then the next morning rolls around and I'm like, damn man, I'm really in the mood for breakfast tacos again and Today is again one of those days and here I am. But it is December 30th for me, which means New Year's is only two days away. But by the time you're watching this, it is January 1st. And I just wanna wish you a happy new year. And I really hope that this new year brings you a lot of growth and you finally get to start to put in the work for the things that you want and the things that you love. You know when the new year rolls around, people start to set new goals, new expectations for the year ahead. A lot of people join the gym, so you see like a new gym crowd for the first couple of weeks. And you're making those changes to better yourself, but after like two or three weeks into the new year, like things go back to their normal self as to how they used to be. And that's why in today's video, I want to go over three sequential steps along with the challenge and specific action step that you can take in order to actually set a goal for yourself and stick to it for the upcoming new year 2022. And I really hope that the culmination of all these steps and the specific challenges and action steps really help you get a fresh perspective on who you are, where you want to go and how you're gonna get to it in this new year. If you watch my videos then you know that i'm a big advocate for self-reflection because i really think it allows you to tune in with yourself to understand who you really are but today i want to take it in a little bit of a different direction and i want to challenge you to just think about one thing that bothers you internally be real with yourself and recognize that there's no need to judge yourself for it and you also don't have to share it with someone else which means there's definitely not going to be any external judgment or an external opinion per sort and um, you know this can be something that's been mentally bothering you for a while or something that's been crumbling you down and I know for a lot of people like losing weight is one of the new things that they want to start on in the new year so using that base as an example something that's been bothering me a lot has um, for the past couple of months has been my inconsistent workout schedule due to other things that are going on you know during the school time like we had a whole transition from a hybrid or remote learning to a full in-person thing and it was just a lot to deal with in terms of not just going to classes but also you know taking care of the extracurriculars that weren't necessarily there before this semester and i mean i sleep very late i wake up very late my sleep schedule is just out of whack and just all of the things jumbled up together it affects my workouts and um, and my workout schedule and that's been something that's been holding me down for some time now I hope you pause the video to also think about one thing Yes, just one thing that's been bothering you internally or crumbling you down and the reason I'm asking you to only think of one thing is because Man, that's like that's the mistake that a lot of people make when they first start of the new year you know, they're trying to change everything all at once and Changing everything all at once is nearly impossible and that's what makes it so likely for people to revert back to their old habits because it, it was just fitting with their schedule already so like disrupting your whole schedule to change everything all at once like that usually doesn't work it's not sustainable and you can't stick to it for a long time which is why you should start with focusing um, on only one thing and that's why I'm asking you to only think of one thing that's bothering you I'm telling you that if you focus on just one thing establish it in your routine it's just gonna make it so much easier for you to stick to it and also work on the other things because you're taking it step by step and doing it one by one instead of jumbling it all together now, just to summarize this step, the challenge in this step is to think about one thing that's been bothering you internally or mentally crumbling you down. And the action step is to write it down you know, on a piece of paper or on your notes on your phone. There's always a ton of things that we can work on and continue to get better at, but I'm only asking you and pushing myself to just start by focusing on one thing. And now that you've identified what's that one thing, it's time to break it down as to why it bothers you so much. You know, for me, the gym thing or the inconsistent workout schedule is something that bothers me a lot and has been for the last couple of months because since COVID started, I've had a really hard time 
actually devising a plan or a schedule that I can stick to for a consistent long period of time and it bothers me because it's like the gym is an integral part of my life since high school and I know that overall I have less physical energy when I don't go as much. I have less mental resilience or mental endurance that I can apply in other areas of my life. I physically don't look my best and it's an integral part of my YouTube channel that I want to continue to talk about. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, like this is really hard for me to put on camera. Like this is not something I talk about um, usually. And I, I just hope it pushes you to also face your demons and try to work on it instead of just trying to press it down and push it to the side because it just feels too uh, it just feels too much for yourself for yourself to handle so after you've answered this daunting question of why that thing bothers you so much it's time to finally brainstorm some ways to actually tackle the situation at hand and so summarizing this step number two the challenge is to think about why that one thing bothers you so much internally or mentally and the action step now is to write that down underneath the thing from step number one. And you need to be cognizant that a routine is not a one size fits all and you need to develop something that already fits with your pre-existing sleep and work schedule, which leads us into step number three. Now, we all have different things that are bothering us and of course, like, you know, we're gonna choose different things to work on, but I think one thing that we all have in common with that thing is gonna be that it's gonna require time, effort, and patience to actually work on it and get better at it, um, whatever we choose. This is where I wanna implore you to really make that thing a priority for yourself, which means that you're not gonna be working on it if you have time, but rather you will make time to dedicate towards your personal growth. This would mean making some more time on your days off or replacing some of your usual activities on your work days to make some extra time for that thing that you wanna to work towards, but Let's answer the question of what is this new activity that you're going to be partaking in and I think that really depends on the thing that you chose for yourself, you know, uh, for me, I'm going to try my best to stick to a three or four day workout routine every single week and make sure that I'm only taking rest on my scheduled rest days and in, instead of going like five or six times a week, which is also something that I've done in the past. But if your thing is related to something like mental health, then perhaps you can choose an activity that directly addresses that, you know. Some examples can be journaling, therapy, working out, or just eating a more nutritious diet. If you want to work on something that, that, that helps you academically or professionally, then you need to dedicate time towards learning new skills, either through reading or by watching videos. Again, like whatever, like we're gonna choose different things to work on, which means the activity that we're gonna do to directly address that is gonna be different. But what we will have in common is that we all have to dedicate that extra time, take those extra steps and make an effort and patiently stick to the process to see noticeable progress. Man, just to summarize this step up, the challenge is to directly um, prioritize your personal growth and the action step is to plan that activity and do that activity that directly addresses what's bothering you. I promise you if you identify one thing that's bothering you, dig deep into why it's affecting you that much and prioritize your growth by indulging in an activity that directly addresses it. I mean, you're gonna see a tremendous amount of progress maybe even just a couple of weeks or so anyways that is all i've got for this video if you made it this far into it thank you for tuning in and i appreciate all of your support be sure to smash that thumbs up button let me know you made it this far and if you're new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications because i release at least two new videos every single week and i'm gonna catch you all in the next one